In this module, we will further learn to work with SPSS, where we will learn the transform menu, and we will try to figure out how to work with the compute command. It's very common that we collect our data in one form, and we want to convert it into another form. One of the most common example of it is that we always obtain data from respondents in terms of their heights and weights. And we use the information obtained in heights and weights and try to convert it into BMI. One way is we take up the height and weight of each individual and keep calculating it for each and every value. The other is that let the software do the work. To do this, one can simply put up the formula to calculate the BMI that uses the height and the weight of the participant. And with one click, it will calculate the BMI for each and every participant of our data. So let's look at another example that how transform command works. For this purpose, we will look at this very well-known data known as ulcer recurrence data. This data was collected to compare the efficacy of two therapies for preventing the recurrence of ulcer, where we are given the ID information for the patients. We have age, which is numeric, and this information is obtained in years, whereas age is a quantitative variable, hence its measure is scale. The other variable is duration. That's about the duration of the disease. Duration of the disease Though it's recorded as a numeric variable, but in fact, it is a categorical variable. With its categories as one code is assigned to the category one that says that less than five years. And if there is greater than or equal to five years, the numeric code that has been assigned to this value is two. Hence, this is a categorical variable that has order among the categories, hence its measure is ordinal. Other variable is treatment. That is the treatment group. This is the therapy A to prevent the recurrence of the ulcer, and it is coded by a numeric code zero, and the therapy B to prevent the recurrence of the ulcer. And this therapy is called treatment B and it is coded as numeric code one. So wherever in our data for the treatment variable, wherever zero is mentioned, it means it, it refers to the therapy A and one always will refer to the therapy B within the treatment variable. The treatment variable is, a, is also a categorical variable, hence the measure that used for it is nominal. The other variable is time that speaks about time of last visit in months. It is a quantitative variable, hence its measure is scale, and the lastly, it is a result. The results talk about the status of the individual, that if the ulcer is re reoccurred and it has been detected. So even though it is a categorical variable, but still it's recorded as a numeric variable with its numeric code zero and one, where zero refers to no ulcer detected and one refers to ulcer detected. Since it is a categorical variable, its measure is nominal because there is no ordering among the categories here. So we will use this data to learn 
few options within the transform menu. Let's have a quick look at the data in the data view. Age variable, duration, treatment, time, and results are given. And if you click on the value labels hot icon, you will see all the categorical variables have been transformed into their categories. And as you click back again, they will transform into the numeric codes that have, be, have been given to it. In this data, in total, we have 43 respondents, where we can see from here that there are 43 cases. Now, the question is, since we know the age is measured in years, and we want to convert it into a new variable that help us to measure the age in months. For this sake, we will go to transform compute. Once we are in the compute variable, the very first thing we want to do is to write down which variable is going to be our target variable. Hence, right here, in the target variable, we will put the name of the variable. Since we know this is age that is measured in months, so I'm going to put age underscore months. The numeric expression to calculate the age underscore months from the age in the years is you bring the age and multiply it with 12 because in each year, they are 12 months. So if we want to convert a year into months, we simply convert age in the years into 12. Before I go further, I would like you all to introduce with few options available here. This sign is plus. This is minus, multiplication, division. This is used when we want to take the square of the of the values. This is lesser sign, greater, less than equal, greater than equal, equal, exactly equal, approximately equal, and operation, or operation. These are the brackets, and this is the something approximately approaches to. One can use some other arith arithmetic operations as well. If you click on all, it shows you all the possible available mathematical operations given here. Like one can find out log to the base 10 and log to the base and log to the base E, which is nature log. Similarly, there are other mathematical operations as well. Mean, median, minimum, missing, mod, and many other functions which are available. One can also pick up some specific functions like arithmetic functions, where it's absolute, R sign, R10, cause, exponential, log 10, nature log, and similarly, there are few more options available here. If you want to take the square root of something, we, we will use SQRT. Similarly, there are other various operations, depending upon what exactly you want to do and how do you want to transform your variable, you can use any one of these options. But in, in this case, we are only interested in converting the age into the months when the original variable given is in years. So age variable is age in years. So we try, we multiply it by 12 and hence the, answer, the, the output will be that a new variable will be created with the variable name age underscore months with all the data transformed according to the numeric expression we have, we have given. Once the numeric expression is given, you simply press OK. A new window will open up, that is Output Viewer. In Output Viewer, the very first, it gives you the, the syntax it has used to calculate this transformation. But to look at the change that happens to our data, we got to look at the data view. And in data view, one can simply notice that a new variable has been created in age and month. 48 years of age 
is equivalent to 576 months and it's so on it was calculated for all the 43 individuals which were the part of our study one thing one need to one need to care is that when we use the compute command using the transform menu it only bring the variable in it doesn't fix the rest of the other options rest of the other options within the variable view so it's we always have to put the label of it so that we can recognize our variable later on so age underscore month is the transformed age variable into months whereas in our data there is zero decimal place so after the decimal point we don't need any other information so we keep the decimals to be equals to zero it will definitely be a numeric variable and the measure will be scale and rest of the specification will not be changed hence this is a way we can use compute command in the transform to transform any variable into its other form thank you